In my saucepan, I'm gonna add a half a cup of water. And then a cup and a half of chicken broth. So in this container, I have my grits. You want to stir it in slow so that it don't lump up. I want smooth grits. So basically, in my pot, I have half cup of water, a cup and a half of chicken broth, and a half cup of grits. And I'm turning it to low. Put the lid on and then I'm gonna start focusing on my scallop and shrimp. So in my saucepan I need some butter, I need some olive oil, I have some pesto, basil pesto. This is what it looks like. You can normally find this in the aisle where the pasta is. So I'm using two teaspoons. And I normally add a little bit more garlic in it. Well, a teaspoon and a half. I love garlic. I'm gonna shake some uh, red pepper flakes in. Complete seasoning. I'm just seasoning my oil. Roasted garlic onion powder, a little bit more seasoning salt, and Old Bay seasoning. It should look something like this. And so now what I'm getting ready to do is uh, place my scallop in. Since they take a little longer to cook than the shrimp. So look how big they are. Pretty sizable. Shoot, I could almost make a scallop hamburger. That's a thought for real. A scallop burger. Shoot, let me think. I could probably do a stuffed salmon. And the stuffing would probably be some shrimp. Uh, what? Crab meat? Scallop? Make a seafood burger. That sounds like it's gonna hit for real. I might have to look into that. So I'm gonna let my scallop cook for a little bit. Since it would take a little longer to cook than the shrimp. So in my grits, I'm going to add some butter in here. It's about a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna add in some mascarpone cheese, which is, um, this is it right here. You can typically find this over in the um, the deli area. Tablespoon of that. And I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream. Just a little bit. I'm gonna give this a good stir. Thank you. 
flip these over. They looking real good, y'all. They looking real good. Let these cook a little bit on the other side. Got my handy dandy fork. Hey, Cynthia. <laughs> I'm removing my sweet potato. And the skin should come right off of it. Y'all, when I cook my sweet potato in the, in the pressure cooker, it seemed like you give it a deeper taste or something. I don't know. I mean, it just, I don't, and the strings with the sweet potato, they non-existent. They don't exist when I cook them in the, in the pressure cooker. So the skin came off easy. Get ready to place my sweet potato in the grit. And I have my potato masher. And we're going to add just a teaspoon of brown sugar. And now I'm getting ready to drop in my shrimp. So this is what my sweet potato grits look like. Nice consistency. And you're gonna plate them up.
this is my shrimp and scallop sweet potato grits. When I tell you this is so good. Look, I never claim to be a chef. I'm just over here fixing something to eat. Mm-hmm. 